Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a interlocking letter logo using Adobe Illustrator. Your finished product could look something like these examples. First of all, I'm going to go to the layers panel and turn off the visibility icon on this group so that I can have some space to work. Now with the type tool, I'm going to click one time in my work area and I chose the letters D, Q. I'm going to double click to select this and in my properties panel, I'm going to choose a font that I like. I'm going to use Book Antiqua. Now the font size I'm going to select is size 400. Your size might be different depending on what font you choose. Now I'm going to switch to the selection tool and drag these letters down where I can see them. Next, go to the type menu and choose create outlines. Now this has been converted from a text object to a shape object. Now I'm going to select A on the keyboard which switches to the direct selection tool. I'm going to click to deselect and then draw a box only around the D. Now I'll change the color. Window, swatches, and from the swatches I'll choose this color for this letter. Now draw a selection around the Q and I'll choose this color. V on the keyboard to get the selection tool and I'm going to overlap these. Next I will draw a selection around both objects and then go over here to my Pathfinder panel. Look at these three little dots. Those are more options. I'll select that to open the menu and then choose this one here which is called Divide. Now all of these little overlapping sections, if I select them with the direct selection tool, which is A on the keyboard is the uh, shortcut. I can now select each one of these and if I wanted to, I could change them all to different colors. But what I want to do to get the overlapping effect is change this particular section to the same color as the D. And now it looks like they are interlocking. However, if you look closely, you can see these faint lines. So to avoid that, what I'm going to do is get the direct selection tool, click each object, and then hold down shift on the keyboard. Now I have all of the D sections selected. I'm going to go back to Pathfinder and choose the first one, which is Unite. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the Q. So select each section by holding down shift on the keyboard and using the direct selection tool and then click Unite. And that's it everyone. The interlocking letters logo is finished.